Schlurt. Schlurt. I just be doing drive by schlurts. Heard? Schlurt. People be like, I hate these guys from the ghetto. You know, they're always saying some weird little, little word. I, mean, I gotta throw y'all on the shadow. I gotta throw that throw y'all on shadow Moscato, baby. I get I'll be at y'all. When I get to the destination, I'll be able to holler. But I gotta throw y'all on shadow. Nurse cone. Gotta throw that on shadow. What you doing in sport mode, Lord? You're on the regular straight hurts. But yeah, man, what's popping? I just came on here to highlight y'all. I'm gonna roll up a little slim blizzle. You feel what I'm saying? All up a little slim bezel, man. I'm chilling, man. Yersk. Ayatollah was popping. I just finished laying down a verse to that, to that, to that, uh, to that floating on the Van Wick. You heard? I just finished laying a verse to that. What I said on that again? I don't know what I said on that. But I just finished laying a new verse to that. You heard? I ain't even touch it yet. Tomorrow morning when I wake up, I'm a mix fire out of it. I'm a mix fire out of it. You heard? Capo Chef was really good. Cash rules. I only could talk to y'all when I get to a red light. Nah, Mace. Nah, Mains. Boop, 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 boop. Damn, I wish my sushi spot was open right now, but I know they closed, man. Damn, man. I know they, I know they blowsed right now. Er, I don't want to see traffic at, at 1042, bro. If I see some traffic, it's going, it's going, it's going to dismotivate me. If that's a real word. But yeah, man. What's poppin'? Young pun of me. You hurt? Chill, Lord. Chill, Lord. Yeah, man. I wish poppin' though. It's popping. It's really popping. <laughs> Yawning at 1040. You know you old, man. Yawning at 1040, man. You heard me trying to run the streets. It don't be working out. It don't be working out for me. By 12 o'clock, I'll be like, what am I doing out here? I need to be in a bag. Young part of me. Yersk. But yeah, man. I'm pull I'm 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 be pulling over soon. Come on, that's dangerous, bro. Y'all gotta fix that, man. They got a piece of long metal hanging out in the middle of the lane, like, nah, bro. You might go get to an accident like that, man. You hurt? I can't resist to give y'all this shot. I got to give y'all this shot, man. I can't do that to y'all. I can't do that to y'all, man. I can't do that to y'all. You heard? I can't do that to y'all, man. Got to give you a shot. You heard? I'll be disrespectful. I'd be disrespectful if I ain't give you that shot right there. You're a part of me. You're, I'd be disrespectful if I cruised into Brooklyn and I ain't give y'all that shot. I'd be disrespectful. You hurt? Yes, sir, baby. The city that never sleeps was sleeping. You heard? I tell a nigga about LAZ. I said, hey, man. They be like, yo, Laz, why you ain't never get on? Why you ain't never blow? I said, hey, man. City that never sleeps was sleeping. 
this one time when it came in. You feel what I'm saying? Flex, you looking at my nigga? Gersh? But yeah, man. I was down here filming an episode of The Fat Vegetarian. I ain't got enough time on that one episode. I'm going to have to hold my head till I get hungry again and film the second segment. Because that first segment is light, baby. I can't be hitting dudes in a light episode of fat, in the fat veg. And I, and I think I'm going to bomb with it on the regular channel, man. Because, you know, my fat vegetarian channel is getting drowned out by my regular channel. Being that I started the series on my regular channel. Anytime you search it, it's going to automatically go to my regular channel. So it's rough. It's rough. I just got to wait till I get the subscribers and then um, drop new episodes on it. Yersk! But um, right now, I'm going to have to hit y'all with this new slep episode. You heard? Because y'all sleeping. Come on, bro. You crossing in the middle of the streets. I bang your whole kneecaps off right quick. You heard? I bang your whole kneecaps off with the grill of this truck. It's I got two songs with five shots. One of them is one of them. I can't remember the the names right now, bro. I gotta look that up myself because my memory is my short term memory is a rap. Only my long term memory um works. You ask me what I did yesterday, I don't know. You understand what I'm saying? But um, I definitely got two joints with five shots. Both of them is nuts. So. You heard Uncle Yashua was popping. Me and Uncle Yashua just put down a blazer. That's dropping this week. Let's hold. Let's keep our fingers crossed for Monday. But that's dropping this week. You heard? We just put down a slazer. Do I feel like going into the food zone right now? It's another falafel spot they closed down, man. That that pisses me off every time I drive past here, man. You heard? It's another falafel spot they closed down. That was that was outstanding. What's here now? A guy in vape store and a 99 cent pizza spot. You heard? Lords. Come on, Lords Lee. Y'all took out y'all took a good falafel spot out the game for what? You heard? Alright now. Making this left. I don't want to bang your kneecap to next to bed star. Get up across that street. That's all I'm saying. But yeah, man. Yeah, man. Heard. Z Lord, I'm out here, man. Know what I mean? Yeah, me and Uncle Yashua just put down a crazy, crazy new joint. Crazy new joint. That's that's dropping. Poor PCT was populating. I'm about to pull over in a few minutes. You heard? I'm about to pull over in a few minutes, Lord Lee's. Straight up. Straight, straight up. Oh yeah, that's looking nice. Oh, that's looking nice. Oh yeah, that's nice. That's nice. Oh, I'm gonna pull over because that's nice. Yeah. Yes. That's nice. Yes. Yes. That looks nice. Oh yes, it looks nice. Yes, yes. But yeah, man. Let me see which populated the boy here. Let me see which populated. City fling, I appreciate that snow nation, my bro. You heard? Where my bro know the ledge at, man? Know the ledge. Where you at, bro? Will Cash Grow was popping. Point guard was really good. The business was really hood. Rico Ram's mom's was popping. See you in the building. Lowell Pack was really good. Rolando Rodriguez was really good. Fast Cash Dave was really hood. Ace Boogie, I see you in the Snilden. Ayatollah, I got that verse. I got that. I got a new joint coming to you. I ain't even released all of the joints that we got yet. I just released that new me. Bucker gonna probably do that verse over tomorrow. I'm going to have Bucker come to the crib, do that verse over tomorrow, and I'm going to re-put that joint out. And I got another cover, too, but I kind of, I don't know, man. Somebody, a couple of dudes told me, yo, people going to be offended by how y'all using Ayatollah on, the Ayatollah on y'all cover and stuff like that. So it's like, eh, 
I'm out the game of trying to of offending people and shit. Like you feel what I'm saying? So we might I might just grow with a different type of different type of vibe. Y'all let me know what y'all think about that. Your but um Nick was popping B more was really good. Yeah, man. I'm trying to see if I see a, a slarking space so I could actually walk around. Because I ain't trying to be sitting up in this bar. You heard? <laughs> I ain't trying to be sitting up in this bar all day. So I'm trying to see if I can find some some yarking. Word to my mama. Word to my mama. But I see some I see some things that I want to put on film. I see some things I want to film. I'm got, I got the film bug. I'm riding around with my tripod. You heard? I'm ready to put in some work, man. Oh, that's another thing I'm about to start, too. Let me tell you something. I'm about to get crazy. I'm about to start. Yo, listen. Let me tell you something, bro. I ain't talking about now, but soon. I'm going to start pushing the artist, bro. You heard? I'm going to find me an artist that's worthy of being pushed. And I'm going to start pushing the artist because what the fuck? I could be putting... I could be putting a dude's music video on the end of every episode. What if I put a new artist that I'm pushing's video on the end of every episode, a brand new video on the end of every episode? Dudes is going to watch that, bro. Dudes going to watch it and be like, all right, all right, I see them, I see them. You feel what I'm saying? So um, the catch to it is, though, it got to be videos that I filmed and beats that I provided because I am i don't want no copyright infringement, no copyright claims, none of that. I ain't trying to have none of that. So it got to be stuff that I filmed and all of that. You feel me? Or if a dude, if somebody else filmed it, it has to be exclusively uploaded to my YouTube page first. You heard? Because I can't play around with no people's content. Maybe um, striking and banning my page because they... They think I stole somebody's content. So the bottom line is, if I do push somebody, they're going to be heavily last produced. You understand? That's how the bro Ralph McDaniels did it with Video Music Box. He was filming most of those videos that he was playing. You heard? That's why it was such an exclusive show. Because a lot of them videos, you would never be able to get your hands on because he's the one who filmed them. And he was the only one in possession with a lot of those videos. You heard? So that's what I would do, pushing the artist. And pushing myself. That's how I'm going to push myself also. You feel what I'm saying? When I feel like, you know, thrashing dudes with some music right quick. You heard? Remember my bro used to live around here, man. My bro Sophie and Khan that filled that Star of the Ghetto video. I seen that nigga just won an Emmy. He won an Emmy, Soph. Holla at me, nigga. Soph don't know. He don't know. If he knew what I was into right now, he'll be trying to get at me. That's a fact. If Sophie and Khan, who just won an Emmy, look him up. He filmed my Star of the Ghetto video. I got videos filmed by Emmy Award winning directors. That's a fact. Starve the ghetto. Niggas know what it is. That nigga won an Emmy. The nigga who filmed my shit. You feel what I'm saying? My son, Sophie and Khan. If that nigga knew what the fuck I was into right now, that nigga would holler at me and we would get a million dollars together, my nigga. Because I got all the content you ever would ever need for the rest of your life. But... And me and my nigga, Sophie and Khan... That's my bro, though. He owe me a video, but that's my bro. He owe me a little video, but that's my bro. You heard? Yeah, my guys. What's popular, you know? Yeah, if y'all never seen that St. Lads video, Starve the Ghetto, make sure you go check that shit because, man, oh, man. Isaiah De La Cruz filming verses for what? I mean, recording verses for what? Davies was really good. Nah, man. That, that, that Pred movie, man, that shit is in production. You heard? 
That shit is in production, Lord. Yeah, my genies. Vlad Bammy was in here blowing, or I mean what? Why is his message removed, man? Huh? You doing, doing, you saying crazy stuff in here? Vlad ban me, man? Start banning dudes for real, man. You heard? Start banning dudes for real, man. Dudes be playing, man. And snowball, a snowball mic? Snowball mics is pretty, I don't know, man. You don't really need no crazy mic to, to, to record a verse, man. What you need to record a verse, man, you got to have a, um, a nice little space that's quiet. You don't need no soundproof booth or none of that shit. To, I don't use no soundproof booth. My mic's sitting right in the middle of my motherfucking table. Like, it is what it is. I ain't motherfucking, uh... I ain't motherfucking Quincy Jones and shit. Like, I mean, I'm just trying to lay a verse down. But I got three mics. You heard? I got um an audio technica mic that I record vocals on. My 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 music mic, a condenser mic. You gotta get a condenser mic. That's the bottom bo bottom line. Even if it's a USB condenser mic, you have to have a condenser mic. If you don't have a condenser mic, you that's not made to record vocals on. Then I have a um I also have a um a, a Yeti. I got a blue Yeti. You feel what I'm saying? I got two Yetis, actually. I got a silver one and a black one. Pause. You feel what I'm saying? But I got two Yetis and I got a um I got a um audio technical joint. And then I got I got I got a couple. I got a lot of mics, man. Pause. But um I'ma tell y'all niggas a mic that's great for the price. Amazon got this mic called the Amazon. I mean not the Amazon. The Samson Go mic. There's a little ass mic called the Samson Go mic that clips onto the top of your laptop. Trust me when I tell you, you get a pop filter with that, you get a separate pop filter, make sure you got a pop filter in front of it. Trust me when I tell you, you clip that Samson Go mic on the top of your computer, bro, that is the only mic you will ever need to record a rap song, my nigga. If you know how to EQ and mix and shit like that on a, on a, trust me, you'll be good. But if you want to get decent vocals for a light price, get that Samson Go mic. They sell that shit on Amazon. It's about $45, $50. Samson Go mic. It clips onto the top of a laptop, plugs in USB. You are good to go. Get a pop filter on that shit. You good to go, baby. If you want to get a Yeti, a Yeti is only $150, if I'm not mistaken. A Yeti is only a buck fifty. You could get a Yeti too. You heard? I got two Yetis, but with my new system that I got set up, I needed a, con a real condenser mic. That USB mic ain't getting it. I need a real condenser mic. So I was forced to put, I was forced to get a, U a real condenser mic popping which is an Audio Technica mic. That ain't no mad fancy mic either. I paid, I only paid like $200 for the shit or $150 for it or something like that. Now I mean the Audio Technica joint. I got a pop filter. It came with a pop filter, matter of fact. Now I mean, I got a mic stand. I bought a mic stand. If you get a condenser mic, you're gonna have to get a real mic stand too. You understand what I'm saying? But I got the tabletop mic stand because I'm too old to be standing up spitting rhymes. I'm sitting my ass down in a computer chair spitting them rhymes, nigga. I ain't got no time to be my knees to be hurting while I'm while I'm spitting bars. But yeah, man, that's what's going down, bro. Anytime television was really good. Wise Brim 59 was popping. David Muhammad was really good. Joey Freaks was popping. Romy 16 was really. Q Not You was popping. D Stokes was really good. Dino with the pop was popping. I'm about to roll up a good little blunt, good little joint. Hurt. Yeah, man. You know, LAZ, man. I'm, I'm all for peace, baby. 
I'm all for peace, baby. You feel me? I don't be wanting no problems with nobody. You know what I mean? I'm a grown-ass man, man. I'm a family man, man. I don't want no problems with nobody out here. I be chilling, man. You heard? When niggas, niggas start getting a little too mentiony. <laughs> when the niggas start getting a little too mentiony for me, you know, every once in a while I might say something. Why the nigga getting too mentiony? You heard? Uh, you getting too mentiony now, my brother? Yes. But you know, I ain't getting into that either. Cause what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna have three hundred thousand subscribers. Uh, talk, uh, addressing every nigga who say something out their mouth about me. I can't do that. That don't even make no sense. You feel what I'm saying? Down. Make no sense, Lord. For real, for real. Hold up. Mm. It's that stinky purple right here. Code name Mots was, was really good. Dino Coasters was really good. Two Dinos in the building was popping. Cali definitely in the building. Cali be showing mad love, man. Cali is a gold mine, man. If you're a West Coast nigga, Cali is so huge, bro. Yes, sir. Shout out to my bro, Saquon Adon. It's my bro, man. You heard? My bro, say, man, a nigga been through. Yo, listen, bro. You know, niggas be on these channels and we be grown men and all of that. But, you know, a lot of niggas on this channel, bro. Niggas, niggas did a lot of time, bro. Niggas did a lot of time at a young age. Niggas caught 16, 17, 20 years at 17 years old. You feel me? Like, niggas like Saquon. That nigga got sentenced to motherfucking... That nigga did 16 years, my nigga, or 17 years. I can't remember what, what, how much he did. But he did a long ass time. And I remember when I went home, you know, I went home, I tried to keep in contact with son as much as I can, but I'm in the streets going back and forth to jail. But I used to write son in the can. You feel what I'm saying? And I used to just be sad, like, damn, man, niggas really making my man do CR on that seven to 21. You feel me? Then a the nigga lost his CR on the seven to 21, ended up doing another extra four years or three years. But it's just like, yo, a lot of niggas went to jail young and did a whole lot of time at a young age, my nigga. And niggas try to come home and be normal when a nigga sat a nigga down for 17 years, 18 years. You understand what I'm saying? At 17, 18 years old, niggas got sat down with those type of time, with those type of numbers. You feel me? So like, you know, that shit is almost impossible to bounce back from, my nigga. It's really almost impossible. I was lucky. I was lucky. I only did six years in the penitentiary, my nigga. You got some niggas that had cases just like mine that they got sat down for 20 years. You feel what I'm saying? They got sat down for 15 years. Like, shit real. Niggas did major time. That shit was psychologically break you, my nigga. Niggas housing you in a cell. You know what I mean? You in a six by nine cell being housed being housed in a six by nine, nine cell, literally being treated like cattle. Niggas let you out to feed. You understand what I'm saying? Niggas let you out to feed. They let you out to the yard. They do that to cattle. They let them out to the yard to go for wreck. You feel what I'm saying? Like, nigga getting treated like cattle out this bitch for 16, 17 years. Nigga, nigga, nigga gotta resort to all type of violence. To, to keep a level of respect so that motherfuckers could respect them and they could do their bid peacefully. Know what I mean? Like, niggas, niggas went through a lot of shit, my nigga. Niggas went through a lot of shit. Niggas, you know, niggas, niggas make it seem like it wasn't all of that. Like, yeah, we grown, we, we strong niggas, nigga. We held that shit down. My nigga, that shit fucks. That shit is psychologically damaging for the rest of your life, my nigga. You will be psychologically damaged for the rest of your life after you did time like that. And that's a fact. That is a fact. So, the few that can bounce back from that shit, you gotta take your hat off to them motherfuckers, my nigga. The few that can bounce back. Many, many motherfuckers 
couldn't bounce back and they came to these streets and murdered something or murdered themselves. You heard? Because they couldn't take it, nigga. Yo, nigga, get on camera. Nigga, get on camera. Nigga, nigga start smoking all dramatically, like. <laughs> Yo, check it, right? If, I, if my audio is breaking up while I'm talking, let me know, because I don't want to be talking, running my mouth. And I, I look at it later, shit like burp, 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 looking mad stupid, thinking I'm thinking I'm being funny and shit. But like, yo, bro, I told y'all niggas about the time. Every time I go somewhere that I'm not really that familiar with, I'd be nervous because it was a time I went to Brooklyn. I was in Brooklyn, matter of fact. I was in Brooklyn every morning because my kid was going to a school in Park Slope crazy because she was going to a school in park slope across the street from a school that i used to go to in park slope when i was four or five years old you feel what i'm saying so every day i have mad time to kill so what i would do is if you you couldn't really find no parking spots over there you had to look i'd be over there by grand army plaza right one day I parked my whip up, I found a little spot. I said, yeah, nigga, found a spot. I'm going up in Grand Army Plaza. I'm going to get me some books out the library. Then I'm going to walk down Flatbush Avenue, get me some eats. You heard? I ain't got to worry about my car. Yo, I'm, I, I go, roam, I go, I park my car, I go roaming off for about four hours, nigga. Between the library and food and doing shit on the internet. I said, all right, let me go, let me go get my car. Like I said, if my audio is breaking up, holla at me. So yeah. So now I gotta pick my daughter up from school, right? I gotta pick my daughter up from school at a certain at, at a certain time, whether it was three o'clock or two thirty or whatever. So I'm like, all right, let me go get my whip. My shit, go get the whip. My shit, go to get the whip. I'm like, yo, where my shit at, my nigga? I know I park. I know I park my shit on this block right here. Where is my shit at? My shit, God, my nigga. I'm like, oh shit, this is what I had, the red charger. So I said, I know ain't nobody stealing that red charger. Like, that shit ain't new. Like, why the fuck would a nigga steal that? So I said, maybe I'm bugging, my nigga. I walked around like five, six blocks, my nigga. I'm like, yo, I can't find this shit. This shit gone, you heard? So now I gotta go get my daughter. I gotta walk to her school, go get my daughter, tell my daughter, yo, I can't find a car. I think somebody stole a car. You heard? We gonna have to take the train. You know what I mean? We all the way to fucking Park Slope. Nigga do not feel like taking the train all the way from Park Slope. I'm tight, my nigga. I walk around looking for my car for about two hours, maybe an hour. Couldn't find the shit. It started getting time for me to, to pick her up, I had to bounce. I'm like, yo, I don't know what the fuck is up with my car, man. I took I took my daughter uptown. I said, yo, I'm, I can't I can't rest like this, man. I gotta go back. First of all, I gotta go back to the spot where I parked my car in order to make a police report to say that my if my car was stolen, for insurance to give me a new car, give me money to get a new car. You feel what I'm saying? So I'm like, damn, I had to go back to Park Slope that night, back over there by Grand Army Plaza, rather. You feel me? I slide over to Grand Army Plaza. Don't nab me, I wasn't doing nothing. Niggas, police looking for somebody. They come to the corner, they see the first nigga with a, with a hat on, looking like he hood. They looking at me like, nah, nigga, don't nab me up. You feel what I'm saying? But it's like, yeah. So boom. So 
I'm like, damn, I gotta go all the way the fuck back to BK. You know what I mean? And, and go the motherfucking bar around Grand Army Plaza to the block where I was at to go fucking make a police report that my car is missing. I'm pissed off, bro. I'm pissed off. So I go out there again. I say, yo, before I call the police and make this police report, let me, let me, let me motherfucking um look around for my car again. So I start looking around for my car again. Do about seven, eight blocks. No car. I'm like, damn, man, my car is really gone. Like, this shit is a nightmare, my nigga. Had all type of shit in my car. Had all type of shit in my trunk of my car. I'm like, damn, nigga, it's a wrap. So I call the police. Yo, listen, uh, I think my car was stolen. I'm on such and such and such. You feel me? Um, I just want to make a police report for my insurance company so I could give them the shit. That shit gonna copyright my shit. Let me let that shit just play. I will cut this shit right out. But it's like, yo. So boom, right? So boom. So the police come. They were like, yo, you sure you was parked on this block? I'm like, yo, man, I looked around this whole area, so I did laps around this whole area, bro. Like, you feel what I'm saying? Like, I searched everywhere. So he was like, yo, all right, let me pop out. Let me let me check some shit. The nigga pops out the laptop, right? The nigga pops out the laptop. Hold on, let me holler at my man right quick. Yo, yeah, so the nigga pops out the laptop, the nigga like, um. The nigga like, let me check some shit. So he put my license plate in, in the laptop. You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> and he's checking to see if my car, when this is how I knew about this technology and niggas need to know about, th about this shit. <laughs> that nigga checked to see, he the nigga checked every camera, nigga. Nigga said, let me check the Williamsburg Bridge camera. Let me check the Brooklyn Bridge camera. Camera. Let me check the Manhattan Bridge camera. Nigga put my license plate. That nigga, that shit popped up on his computer. All of the camera. It, it, would, it, it told him whether or not my license plate went through any of those bridges. So when you go across a bridge, nigga, don't think your shit ain't being recorded. You heard? If you do something in Brooklyn and you try to shoot over to Manhattan, that's on record, my nigga on them cameras you understand what i'm saying so that nigga checked the manhattan bridge the brooklyn bridge the williamsburg bridge nothing came up he said yo ain't nobody if they did steal it they ain't leave brooklyn because i just checked all ways to leave brooklyn and he checked every way to leave brooklyn nothing was gone so now i mean i was like damn that's crazy now i mean so he said yo you want to spin back around you want to hop in and spin around i said nah i, I, I can't hop in you understand what I'm saying? <laughs> I can't hop in and spin around the block. Yo, my nigga, listen. Niggas walked up the block. The I think I think it was like a half a block down. Niggas walked up the block. He was like, you sure you was parked on this block? You sure you? I mean, I was like, yeah, man, I know it was this block. And nigga turned around. My shit was right there, my nigga. You heard? The first time I was looking for my shit the whole day, I was thinking I was parked on a block that I had parked on like two days earlier. You feel what I'm saying? So in my head, I swore I was on that block, but I really wasn't, my nigga. When I came back for my car, I went to the right block that my shit was on. And when we walked a little bit down the block like this, my shit was standing right there. I'm like this. He said, man, listen, man. I said, yo, my fault, man. I mean, he was a black dude. I said, my fault, man. I mean, I ain't want to involve you in this shit for nothing. My shit right here. He said, yo, listen, I go through this shit like four or five times out the week, my nigga. <laughs> he said, people call and report stolen cars every day because they forgot where they parked at. Yo, I felt mad stupid, bro. Nigga took eight steps down the block. That shit was right there. I said, Ugh. all them blocks be looking the same over there by Grand Army Plaza. 
and all of that shit, like right, right behind, like on Park Slope, on Flatbush Avenue, all of them shits look the same, my nigga. I swore I was parked on that block. You feel me? I swore I was parked on on that block that I was searching for it all up and down earlier. And nah, nigga, it was the block over. And I don't know how I missed it the times I was combing that shit, but I happened to miss the shit. You feel what I'm saying? Matter of fact, I missed it because you know how I kept seeing that block and saying to myself, I know I ain't parked on that shit. You heard? I kept seeing the, the way the block looked and I was like, nah, I know I ain't parked on that. I will remember that. And nah, nigga, that was the block that I was parked on. The one that I swore I knew I wasn't parked on was the one my shit was at, nigga. You heard? I was happy as a motherfucker to drive home that night, though. I was happy to drive home, my nigga. I was like, yes. I thought it was a wrap. I thought niggas took my little dirty baby. And I got in that shit. I said, nigga, nigga, ain't, ain't nobody stealing this shit, nigga. Shit got about 150,000 miles on it. Paint chips on the side. Nigga, ain't nobody stealing this shit. The fuck is you thinking the nigga stole this for? You bugging out, nigga. You hurt? Took a look at my car. I was like, ain't nobody stealing this shit, man. You ain't getting down two blocks away with that shit. Shit sound like a fire engine. That's what I had to dodge charger with the Hemi in it. I had to scoop on my shit. My shit was looking like a motherfucking demon from hell. Niggas used to be stopping taking pictures of my shit. Yo, can I, yo, man, nice car. Be like, little do you know, I bought this off of Craigslist for six cash. Bought that shit off of Craigslist for six cash, nigga. I was thirsty to get in a charger. I see today they was showing some shit, uh, the new electric charger. I don't know if it's a concept or a real car that's gonna come out, but it, I saw the shit today, the electric charger. That shit was looking crazy. That shit was looking crazy, bro, because they made that shit look mad old school and it's an electric car. So it looks like an old school last car with a hint a futurism in it that shit is fire bro i hope that shit actually comes out it's a big ass car too that shit is huge word my nigga nigga thought the car was stolen son had the police come out there and all of that make a report nah nigga that shit was right there nigga nigga said yo you want to get in the car and drive around? I said, ah, ah, let's not be too hasty. I'd rather just lose the car. I'm not going to be seen sitting in the car driving around. He said, let's, let me see. Let me check this block. That nigga took about five steps. Nigga, my shit was right there. Is this your shit right here? I said. <sighs> that weed, baby. Smoke too much motherfucking weed, my nigga. That weed had me thinking I was parked three blocks away, like. So now, sometimes, I be in a certain area, I park there, hop out, take a picture. Blue, let it be known, my nigga, because I will forget where that shit is at. I'm good for that. I come in 2, 3 in the morning, I be half sleep, go to sleep, I wake up, I be like, where the fuck I parked at? Nigga be walking around for eight blocks, try to find my own car. That shit ain't cool. Heard his Bon Jovell. <laughs> I see my mother-in-law in the building. Shout out to my mother-in-law, my real mother-in-law. Yeah, man, Red Room Podcast was populated. Romeo Caluminati was really good. Cosmic Nine was really, M Unity was really good. Yeah, man, yeah, man, it's nice out here. I don't know why I came over here. I tried to come over here to be low. It's five billion people over here. Man walking too close behind me, my nigga. 
almost two pieced you right quick, sent you down them stairs flying head first, you'd have been a rap. You heard? I'd have hit that nigga with a couple of them. <laughs> I'd have hit that nigga with a good, good two piece with a side of coleslaw. See, I'm, I'm, I'm forgetting where I parked that. This, this is how I do it. This is how it happens. This is how it happens, ladies and gentlemen. You're witnessing this shit right now. You're witnessing me not knowing where I parked that. But I'm not even going. I know where I know where I'm parked at. I just gotta find the block. So I'm not even going to stress it. I'm not even going to stress it or undress it. I know I ain't walked down this motherfucking block though. Oh, yes, I did. Nah, see? This is how it happens, Lord. I'm trying to tell y'all. It's weed, man. The weed fuck you up, baby. We had your short-term memory fucked up. I be telling stories from 1982. Like, I had on a blue. I be remembering the clothes I had on in 82. I had on a pair of blue Playboy shoes. You heard? But, nigga, t I can't tell you what I did 10 minutes ago, though. Play the play field was popping. Come on, man. That nigga's plant game is too heavy over here. You know who be thick as a motherfucker though? I'm gonna keep it real with you. Jewish chicks. Jewish chicks be thick, bro. Don't sleep. really good bro I'm chilling man I'm chilling I'm chilling niggas be crazy niggas be crazy in Brooklyn in, in these little areas of Brooklyn niggas be turning a club niggas be turning anything to a club my nigga niggas literally got a uh, you know how the back of a building got a garbage area where you could go through and all of the garbage be there and everybody puts like 10 garbage cans back there niggas turn that shit into a straight little little get together club with tables in that shit like that shit packed like a motherfucker that shit packed like a motherfucker bro the joint been out 10 minutes trying to hit that Don who was popping, was slopping. Lisa Culver was really good. Was populating. Yeah, man, but I really came out here to put some camera work in, man. So let me see what time it is. Yeah, man, I might have to go put this camera work in. That's what I really came out here to BK for. Put some twerk in. This block is looking real uh, halfway house-ish. You know how you just see a block? We be in an all-white neighborhood or something, and you just see a nigga walk up, come out with a do-rag on and some slippers? <laughs> You're like, hmm. Smells like a halfway house or a, or some type of a parole function. Niggas got the bad white rock, the bad hard rock cafe around the corner. Come up the block, you just see a nigga with a do-rag going like this. With a Lucy in his hand like, 
Man, what the fuck is this nigga doing over here? <laughs> You're a Nah, man, that don't sleep. The upper Manhattan, upper Manhattan, that should be having halfway houses, motherfucking uh, nigga coming home from jail shelters. All of that shit be sprinkled right amongst the rich ass white neighborhoods, my nigga. They be mad. They be protesting them shits on the news. Stop bringing shelters to our neighborhood. Stop bringing con ex convicts to our neighborhood. They be in the middle of the street protesting. Y'all don't remember that protest niggas did when they tried to bring uh, 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 kids from, from other neighborhoods into the white public schools? Like into the rich area of public schools? Cause... All right, my bro, you got a strong engine. I see you, baby. Your engine is strong. But like, yo, know what I mean? Um, yeah, like, because let me tell you how this works. Break this down right quick, just in case you ain't know. I might have spoke about this before, but you still need to know about this. So basically how public schools work is like this. Uh, all of the real estate tax from the neighborhood goes to the public schools. So if it's beautiful, big homes and condominiums and condos, all of that property tax, all of that, all of that real estate tax, that shit goes to the local public school by law, right? So if the neighborhood is rich, the public school is outstandingly great. But if the neighborhood is poor and the real estate tax Taxes is super low that means the schools in the neighborhood is gonna be fucked up because they ain't got no money to get it in you understand what i'm saying and this is how rich and poor affect education and opportunity you feel me run that by you again property tax it goes to the local public schools by law so if they sell condos and they selling condominiums and motherfucking uh mansions and shit and million dollar homes in that neighborhood that public school is gonna be off the chain my nigga you ain't gonna need to send your kid to a private school that public school is gonna be so great they gonna be good but if it's brownsville brooklyn where nobody wants to buy property the amount of money getting funded to the local school is light as a motherfucker my nigga it's light as a motherfucker now i forgot my original point but uh yeah this is how this is how uh rich and poor start affecting education and opportunity so niggas be like yo you you could do the same you could have the same opportunities that it not nah, that's that's not true you understand what i'm saying it's not true i can't have the same opportunities because your school got a whole bunch of money to do all type of shit take your kids places see them the top-notch equipment computers we don't have all of that you feel what I'm saying? And then, you know, these dudes get funding from the government when a school is proven to be failing and failing and failing and failing. They get funding for that. So some schools be wanting the wanting niggas to fail so they could get that funding so that they can help the kids. So it's a tricky, sticky little uh place. You understand what I'm saying? But um, yeah, the original point was they was protesting because they was trying to they was trying to bring kids from like brownsville let them go to school in upper west side or 96th street they those parents from them rich neighborhoods they went to the streets and protested and got that shit stopped my nigga look that up that was like last year they got that shit stopped like do not bring them little hood motherfuckers you would think racism don't still exist when they tried to bring a bunch of black kids into the rich white public school areas Niggas protested to the streets and stopped that shit from happening, my nigga. You heard? Put them niggas back in Brownsville where they belong. Don't bring them niggas up here. That's what happened. So if you live in a great neighborhood, the public schools are great. If you live in a terrible neighborhood, the public schools are terrible, period. You heard? So one of my daughters about to go and go to school around the closest, the zone school around my shit. Um, <coughs> and one of my daughters about to go back to school, the closest one around my shit. I don't really like the school. It's in too, it's in too much of a hood area. Like I'm good, but then it's another school not so far. That shit is beautiful. 
but that's not her zone, so it's tricky. But um, when you LAZ, you don't play these things. Yeah, Ray Ray ATL was populated. Exactly, they get better teachers. They get teachers that get paid enough to want to do the goddamn job. You understand what I'm saying? They get smaller classrooms. They get higher, to better technology. They go to crazier trips. You feel what I'm saying? They have crazier guests that come to the school and speak to the kids. They got a lot of shit. You feel me? All of the good teachers want to go teach in the safe, rich schools instead of the wild, wild, fucked up schools. And let me tell you something else, bro. If anything we need in this motherfucking world is black teachers, bro. It ain't enough black teachers, I promise you. I promise you, my nigga. My daughter used to go to school. She used to go to the school in the Lower East Side. One of my daughters, girls prep. That's my word, bro. Girls prep was decent, but ever listen the principal was black but i saw it through that they made sure the principal was black because that shit was looking crazy because literally every single teacher was white every i'm talking about out of 30 teachers in the building it was 30 for 30. you understand what i'm saying i said god damn i picked my daughter up from school one day i said god damn I said, y'all niggas don't got no black teachers at all. Even a white lady put her head down and was like, because it was a charter school. And they was like, yo, it's like, well, you know, I don't know how true that is. Niggas be like, yo, it's no black teachers. I don't know how true that is. But, um, bruh, it was no black teachers in the whole school. We in the Lower East Side, my nigga. I'm like, what the fuck is going on, my nigga? Ain't no black teachers in this that shit was scary that shit was scary like it, the diversity game was 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 and it was nothing but black kids and hispanic kids of course in the lower east side nothing but black and hispanic kids in the whole school you feel what i'm saying wasn't no white kids in the school period none you feel what i'm saying and it was every teacher was white i'm like god damn like this shit crazy out here like we got to get some black teachers in that motherfucking classroom bro straight up you know one of my kids mothers is a teacher she's been a teacher for like a dub like 20 years or some crazy shit like that 15 years or something but she get busy she get busy bro she's a good she's one of the best teachers she's one of those teachers she 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 teach in the worst school in the in one of the worst schools in the city Feel what I'm saying? With the most highest poverty rates in the city. I'd be like, yo, get the fuck out of there already because it's a dangerous ass area. She'd be like, yo, I can't leave these kids, man. I can't leave these kids. These kids' mothers is on drugs and fathers in jail. I can't leave these kids. These kids is all I got. I mean, she'd be like, these kids is all, I'm all these kids got is they teachers. So teachers be more than just teachers, bro. Teachers be fucking mothers sometimes in these neighborhoods. You feel me? In these poor, ghetto neighborhoods teach some teachers be mothers my nigga you understand and if it wasn't for certain teachers psh, kids would really be fucked up bro you know it i hear all type of stories my nigga kids be coming to school with the same clothes on i ain't talking about from her i'm talking about i know a lot of teachers i've known a lot of teachers you feel me and in public school you, and i was in public school you know how it be you know how that shit be kid moms on drugs nigga coming to school filthy Nigga coming to school filthy for two weeks, a month, straight. You heard? Till ACS step in, till child welfare step in and take his ass. Like, you feel me? I done seen it a hundred times. I done seen that shit a hundred times, bro. Call my bro Papa Stopper in the building. My bro Papa Stopper is in the building. Bronx in the building. My bro Papa Stop would be cop cuffing those stories. He'd be cuffing those stories, baby. But yeah, man. JR 2012 was really good.
Don't me the hit or what's really good. See you in the building. Yo, yo, Mills, what up? Steven Pender, peace, peace to the God. Sonny Carson, peace. Jamel Redfern, what's really hood? EF, Jersey, what up? YGTV was populating. Jay Foster, I, I I can't do too much flipping the cam out here, bro. You know what I mean? I got too many niggas want them. I got too many niggas out here looking for me, son. You heard? Can't be showing niggas with blocks and avenues. I be cruising on yours. I don't want to have to. I don't want to have to hit a nigga with this AK that I got in this bag. You heard? I don't want to have to pull an AK out of here and annihilate something out here in the middle of the street. I don't want to have to be that nigga. Just put, do some cartoon shit out here. Nigga run down on me. I just pull a long, big AK out of a small bag like this. What's poppin'? He's like, how the fuck he get that big, long, crazy shit out that little ass bag? Yeah, nigga. Z-Boy, I do shit like that. Run down. Pull a 47 out, the banana on it and all that, like this. Was really? Had that shit in my waist. Let me start. You know I'm just fucking with y'all niggas. I say no to guns like I say no to drugs, baby. Now, am I parked on this block, or is that the next block? Nah, it's this block. But yeah, man. Daryl Finkley, what's really hood? Ray Ray ATL, that's real, that's real shit, bro. That's the type of shit I be talking about. You got teachers that unadopted kids, my nigga. These kids be fucked up out here. They be they got they come from a house where their moms be wild, crazy, on drugs, whatever they see, and they come to school and they see a nice, well mannered, well spoken, well educated, well dressed uh woman. They envy that, my nigga. They like, damn, I wish I had a mother like that. I mean, it's well spoken, nice, kind, listen to my problems. These kids be needing that shit, bro. You heard? And then you got some teachers, man. They ain't these teachers. They got some teachers. They don't give a fuck about these kids, my nigga. They, they there for a paycheck. They got desensitized to these kids for doing a job for so long. They like, eh, I don't give a fuck what happens to you. You gonna go to jail like the rest of them. You got some teachers like that, and then you got some teachers that really do care about these kids' futures out here. You feel what I'm saying? They don't want to see these kids go to jail or get murdered. But I don't been I don't had to drive I don't had to drive t uh I don't had to drive teachers to funerals, bro, in junior high school. You heard? I don't had to drive teachers to funerals in junior high school. Like yo, shit done happen to kids in them schools. You feel me? Yes, sir. Ernie Brown was popping. Word, I told you, my nigga, like, I don't want to keep talking about, I don't want to keep talking about this nigga forehead and shit, but I'm, you know, I, this is why I'm moving the way I move, son, because I told y'all niggas that nigga forehead get busy, his forehead gun go off, and I got to be careful in these streets because the nigga forehead might really pop up. You heard? <clears throat> if you ain't never see a forehead holding an AK-47, it's a scary sight that you don't really want to see. You heard? So I'm, I'm, I'm easy out here, my nigga. Nigga forehead be out here riding, sliding and all of that, man. Spinning, sliding and riding. I'm on point, nigga. Dirt. You hear this foot? That foot, this, this foot is Brooklyn. You heard? If, if a nigga from Brooklyn 
and he don't understand this foot sound, he not really from Brooklyn, my nigga. You hear that? When you hear a nigga from Brooklyn stomping his foot like that, he looking for problems, my nigga. So, you know, this is how I be stepping when I be walking around. Shut what up, what up, what up, what up? You heard? Nigga walking like that, he want it all. He want all the smoke. You heard? Pop. You hurt? But nah, you gotta be low with it, my nigga. So, you know, I walk like a little nerd like this. Don't want any trouble. <clears throat> trouble come, AK. <clears throat> Niggas be building all type of condos in Brooklyn on the low. They be tucking them shits away. Gonna put this little condo right here. Nobody's gonna notice it. 5000 a month for this closet. Nigga be in a closet with a bed. If I show y'all niggas a picture that I got, I got a picture of me when we was trying to get an apartment. My nigga, we was so desperate. We was about to move into a closet, my nigga. This apartment was so small. This shit can't be called an apartment. This shit was a closet, my nigga. With a bathroom. It was a closet with a living room and a bathroom, my nigga. We was so desperate to get an apartment. We was about to take that shit. And, and we didn't know nothing about the neighborhood. And I promise you, that shit was a fully renovated electric toilet, brick walls, beautiful appliances, every all of that shit in the middle of the fucking hood with like you go down an alley in the build, like a behind the building, and you in like where the con is like a fucking condo, but it was in the middle of the hood, and I ain't know nothing about that hood. Nigga, I done seen that hood pop up on the news about eight times since we ain't get that apartment. I said, see, that's why we wasn't meant to get that shit. But when I tell you this shit was so small, my nigga. Listen, if luckily we didn't get that apartment, bro. Cause I probably wouldn't even be in a relationship that I this I would have been a rat. We'd have been scrapping every day. You heard? You can't put people in a in a in a space that small. That's just like the penitentiary. You heard? That shit would have had niggas scrapping out in there. You feel me? So luckily we ain't get that shit. But I have a picture of me laying on the floor in one of the bedrooms. So you can see how big the bedroom was. It's ridiculous. But I can't really post that picture because I was looking mad fat. You heard? I got another story coming to the channel. It's going to be called My Confession. I'm, I got a confession coming into the channel that I'm just going to share, get it off my chest, get move on with my life. But I'm going to come with a good confession real soon. And y'all niggas going to want to laugh at me, but it is what it is. I'm going to get the shit off my motherfucking chest. You heard? But um, I ain't going to do it on live. I'll do it on the episode. You understand what I'm saying? I got a fashion confession to make. That's what I'm saying. I got a fashion confession. I'm going to start a new series called Fashion Confessions. You heard? Where we just where we just keep it real and talk about some shit you had that was super trash. You heard? I got a couple of confessions where I'm going to talk about some garments that I had that was super duper trash. You heard? So that's coming soon. That's coming soon, man. God damn, son, I got so much stories to tell. I'm bugging the fuck out, man. It's going down, baby. That story of Pottersfield. Woo wee! That shit ugly, son. That story of Pottersfield, y'all sleeping on that. Y'all, y'all be sleeping on the Z boy. You heard? Y'all better go watch that <coughs> story of Pottersfield episode one and two. Cause episode three. It's gonna be like a movie, my nigga. You understand what I'm saying? Like that's how long the shit is. The story is gonna be. So it's like this is for the niggas who really fuck with that Z boy. You heard? Only a nigga who really fuck with that Z boy is gonna sit there and watch this shit for this long because it's crazy, bro. It is crazy. That's all I got to say.
and funny as a motherfucker. Your sh Nico was popping. But yeah, my genies, D Herbo was populating. Kansas City, Missouri was really good. You heard? I love Kansas City, motherfucker. I gotta travel, man. I gotta get my ass out of New York, man. You heard? I gotta get my ass out of New York, my nigga. I gotta move around. I'm, I've been in New York all my life. You feel what I'm saying? But when I tell you this next story of Pottersfield, my bro wooden soldier, when I tell you the story, you're gonna understand why I don't leave New York City. You heard? Niggas wonder why you why you don't never leave New York. I'm gonna tell us the next story that I tell, you'll understand why I don't leave New York, my nigga. I stay my ass in lenient law New York, nigga. Liberal ass, leaning, <clears throat> lenient law New York, my nigga. Cause y'all other states, y'all be trying to give a nigga 40 years for a roach. Nigga, kept, nigga get caught with a roach. Nigga talking about giving you 40 cash. I feel sorry for brothers from down south. Cause they be slaying them niggas in the court of law. Niggas be giving niggas 50 years, 60 years. Nigga got two robberies. New York, they give your ass probation. Don't let it happen again. All right, shot the guy, he robbed him, he shot, he's alive. Give him probation. In the 90s, woo wee. In the 90s in Brooklyn, son. All I'm gonna tell you is in the 90s in Brooklyn, niggas was getting five to 15s for straight bodies, my nigga. The courts was too flooded. They like this. Yo, you want to fight a 15 for that? Give it to him. Peace. Go do the 10 years. Go do the 10 years. We'll see you. We'll see you at 30. I'm telling you, bro. They was giving that fight a 15 out like water. <clears throat> How that nigga Don Cheeto said water in Brooklyn's finest. I need that shit like water. He said suit, tie, desk. I need that shit like water. Get me the fuck out of here. I was watching Brooklyn's Finest in my motherfucking car the other day. That shit crazy, nigga. Brooklyn's Finest? <laughs> if you ain't never see Brooklyn's Finest, I don't know what you doing in the movie world. But that BK's Finest? That shit is that heat, my nigga. The soundtrack to that shit? Like the scoring? The scoring to, to, to Brooklyn's Finest? That shit different my nigga word the mother that movie is crazy bro that shit crazy but i was watching that shit in the car i'm about to finish watching that shit lord word to my mama word to my mom yeah Sean Edmonds was populating. Word the mama. Let me see something, Damn, I, I forgot. I gotta holler at the bro too, man. I keep forgetting to holler at this bro, man. We gotta do this story, man. I be going on live and then I be forgetting, man. I be on live for longer than I want to go on live for and shit. But I got to holler at this broski and get this story in. You heard? Because I'm stacking up for next week, my nigga. I'm stacking up. I'm stacking up. I love how the channel is moving. I got a lot of shit going on in my head right now. I'm talking to a lot of big name motherfuckers and powerful people. You feel me? I got a lot of dudes... You know, a lot of dudes coming at me with some real big good ideas. Some real big good ideas. You feel what I'm saying? And, you know, a lot of good shit is going to happen, man. A lot of good shit is going to happen, bro. Inshallah. Yurts. <clears throat> but yeah, my nigga. Javon Lloyd was popping. Peace, peace. Yeah, 
bro. But yeah, my bro, Willie Dynamite was popping. My bro, Uncle Yashua just hit me with a flamer. Go subscribe to the bro page. You see him lit up in blue right there. What's up with this block, my nigga? Like, it was movement or what? But yeah, man. Hit the bro up. Subscribe to the bro page because he got some stories for your ass. You heard? Yo, bro, I'm going to keep it real. I don't really got no, no other super guard story, bro. That was like the only incident that I could really remember with Sun. Because Sun just was a, you know what I mean? Just was a wild boy. But that that was the only incident that I really remember when, when he OD'd on that hooch. You heard when he was drinking that jailhouse hooch. He was drinking that hoochie mama. You feel me? That hooch was too strong, baby. Shit was too strong, baby. Strong J. That shit was strong J. Or the mother. But I wasn't fucking with them jailhouse concoctions like that. When I was young and stupid in jail, I might have took a sip or two of some jailhouse liquor just to see how that shit tasted. But... Uh, when I got older and shit, I'm like, I'm good with this shit. I ain't fucking with this shit. Niggas be having p pieces of peaches in that shit from eight months ago that they smuggled out the mess hole. I'm like, I'm good, Lord. Do you want some of this shit? Nah, son, that peach been in that bag for eight months in a vacuum or something. I'm good. I don't want to eat. I don't want. I don't trust that fruit, my Lord. Shit, burst your whole stomach open. I'm good. I can't be taking chances with eats like that and drinks. You heard? Shit, rip your whole intestines open. Y'all niggas ain't no professional wine liquor makers or none of that. I got to put y'all on shoddy McZlotty right quick. I got to put y'all on shoddy McZlotty. But it's like, yeah, man, y'all niggas ain't no motherfucking... Y'all niggas ain't no motherfucking... Um, no food and wine experts, man. That niggas cultivating shit, peaches and pears and apples and all of that. Nah, my dude. Nah, my dude. That water looking crazy. I'm good. Can't fuck with that. Gersh. But yeah, man. Yeah, man. I ain't never fuck with nothing but weed, man. Nah, man. I ain't never fuck with nothing but weed in the can, man. I ain't never tried nothing, nigga. Nothing. I ain't, um, like I said, I might have had a sip or two of some jailhouse hooch once upon a time. Now on Rikers Island, niggas was doing stupid shit like smoking orange pills. I'm going to keep it real with you. You heard? Niggas was doing dumb shit like smoking orange pills. So my yo, this shit right here, son, shit get you high, my nigga. You heard? So niggas did dumb shit like that. A lot of y'all niggas out there know y'all puffed on some orange pills before, crushed up, mixed with some tobacco. You heard? Y'all done puffed on that shit. The dumbest shit I ever heard in my life, nigga. It's why when you a kid, you 16, you're a kid. You know how I know if you're 16, you're a kid? Because you, I was stupid enough to take a puff of some orange pills. Yo, son, it's that shit. Taste this. Yo, this shit is all right. Nah, nigga, that shit ain't doing nothing. But making your mouth orangey and bitter as a motherfucker. You heard? So, you know, that's how I know at 16, you're a kid. Because if I was stupid enough to take a pull of some orange pills, nigga, I was a kid and I was dumb. Because I wish the fuck I would take a pull of some orange pulls, orange peels now. You heard? nothing about these orange pills nigga that shit don't do nothing that shit fuck around and kill your ass <laughs> that shit fuck around and kill your ass that's what it fuck around and do them orange pills straight up but yeah niggas on Rikers Island be doing all type of back in the days niggas was doing all type of weird shit I don't know what the fuck a nigga was smoking back then. But I ain't never fuck with no dust. 
dirt. I ain't never fucked with no dust. I ain't never fucked with no coke. I remember it was a nigga. I was in jail, right? I was in Franklin, matter of fact, right? This ain't no major story. That's why I never really told a story like that. But it was it was this dude in my dorm in Franklin, right? Now I'm dumb young. You heard? I can't do this to y'all. I can't do this to y'all. I can't do this to y'all. Why, why I'm acting like I'm, I gotta roll my window down? I can't do this to y'all. Tell me I wouldn't be foul if I if I didn't let if I didn't come on, bro. I'm disrespectful. Stop flashing me, nigga. These skinny ass lanes. Fuck out of here, nigga. Wait till I get over the bridge. You'll be alright. I'm trying to save your life, nigga. You want to fall in the water? This shit should be one lane anyway. Flash your ass. But yeah, I had to do this to y'all. I couldn't do this to y'all. This NYC, nigga. You feel what I'm saying? It's my town, nigga. It's my town, nigga. What y'all niggas talking about? Yersh? Yersh? But anyway, uh, damn, man, you know my short-term memory is rap. Eat balls, nigga. Eat balls, nigga. Fuck out of here, nigga. That's right. That's what you should have been did. Go your ass on another lane. And I'm not letting you look at my face. Look, you trying to look at my face? Nah, nigga, you don't get to look at my face. Hold on. What you beeping me in? Man, if you don't get that little shit out of here. That shit looking like a toy. A toy snail. If you don't get that motherfucking Prius. Let me stop. I like old cars, my nigga. I've had I've had a plethora of cars. Had mad bars. Somewhere out there is a nigga saying that. Yo, pull a bar around, nigga. Yeah, my genies. It's really good though. Baruch, what's poppin'? Yeah, I used to be in Baruch and all that. I got, I filmed a video in Baruch. You erst? I filmed a video in Baruch. You know what I mean? I used to be in Lillian Wald back in the days. You heard? I used to be in Lillian Wald. I used to be in motherfucking LaGuardia. Shout out my son Lo. You heard? I used to be in LaGuardia. Shout out the bro Dead Arm. Um, let me see. Where else I used to be in Lower Lower East Slide? You heard? Ooh, that's hard, nigga. If nobody never said that, remember where you heard it first. Lower East Slide. You heard? You heard it on Z-Boy. But yeah, I used to be in the Lower East Slide. You heard? Niggas don't be knowing about that Lower East Slide. It gets ugly. But now nah, I like the Lower East Side, man. I like Lower East Side niggas. I always fucked with Lower East Side niggas. You Matter of fact, one of my first baby moms is from the Lower East Side. You feel what I'm saying? And I met her through my son from the Ville that was a foster kid that when he when he was a foster kid in Brownsville, I met him, but his pops lived in the Lower East Side. So then when he got out of foster care and went back with his pops, he went back to the Lower East Side and he plugged me in with my first baby moms. You heard? And I used to talk to her on in the ville when i used to live in the ville i used to talk to her on the phone and he was in the lower east side visiting his pops sometimes you feel what i'm saying word so i mean got heavy lower east side history heavy heavy you're but yo my niggas i'm out man i'm a holla at y'all tomorrow you feel what i'm saying i'll be on Put that live work in. Get at me if you need them collabs. I'm doing them. I've been doing a lot of them lately too. You heard? Niggas is starting to come to their senses and get them collabs. You heard? Holla at me if you need promo on the channel. 300 cash per episode. Two for five, son. When you fucking with live, son. That's what that nigga live, son, used to say. Two for five, son. When you fucking with live, son. Selling them beats. Two for five. You heard? I'm selling them motherfucking promo slots. Two for five. Get at me with that five cash. I light you up in the city. You heard? Z-Boy, hit me up.